Assalamu alaikum. So uh, we have a question here. Men will get Hurul Ain in paradise. What will women get? <laughs> In Islam, there are a lot of descriptions of the afterlife or the akhirah. The most famous topic regarding the akhirah are the descriptions of paradise or jannah and hellfire or jahannam. The knowledge of paradise and hell should make us steadfast in our deen. Allah is al-alim the all-knowing. He knows best human psychology. He has described the afterlife, making it as a motivation for people in this dunya to strive for the akhirah or the next life. When speaking about Jannah, you might have heard people saying that men will receive Hurul Ain in Jannah. There is also a long-going debate that if men will get Hurul Ain, what will women get? Can women have more than one man in Jannah. First, let's define what Hurul Ain is. Hurul Ain are women or maidens that will accompany faithful Muslim men in paradise. Before moving further, it must be clear that we will not have the same mindset that we have now in paradise. People will be free from envy, hatred, and jealousy towards anyone in paradise. And we will be satisfied there. Allah says in the Quran, وَفِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِيهِ الْأَنفُسِ وَتَلَذُّ الْأَعْيُنِ And therein is whatever the souls desire and what delights the eyes. One should trust Allah because our Lord never fails to fulfill His promises. Everyone shall get what they desire and everyone will be satisfied. Allah is the most just and the most merciful. He will never let you down because you're a woman. We need to understand that if something is not mentioned, doesn't mean that it's not there. Women will receive only one man, but men can have multiple hurul ains or beautiful maidens. To fully understand this, we should know that Allah created men and women differently. Men and women have different desires. Behavioral psychology explains that men have a strong passion for women. By default, women tend to love a single man, but men can love more than one woman. We can find in the Quran, Zuyina lin nasi hubbu shahawati min an nisa. Man is naturally tempted by the desire of women. Men in our society are constantly bombarded with shamelessness. Our religion commands men to lower their gaze despite having the strongest desire. And the exact opposite is what is described in Jannah, is that they'll get multiple beautiful spouses. We can find in a Hadith Qudsi that Allah described paradise as فِيهَا مَا لَا أَيْنٌ رَعَدْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَدْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى خَلْبِ بَشَرْ There will be things which no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no human heart has ever imagined. It is the brilliance of Allah's justice that the joy they denied in dunya, Allah will give them in the akhirah. But one may argue that Allah described such and such for men, but how come He didn't say the same for the women? Well, the rewards for women described in Jannah are more persuasive. There is an Arabic expression that says, Perhaps silence speaks more loudly than words. Allah is silent on this doesn't mean that there are no rewards, but are beyond words. There are rewards for many kinds of deeds, but some are so magnificent that their rewards are unimaginable. Then the reward of such deeds is on Allah. He will take care of it. For the women, the reward not being mentioned is not to be taken away but actually it's unimaginable and beyond the comprehension of the human mind. Everyone in Jannah will be satisfied and there will not be any jealousy or negativity of any kind. Also, believing women will be far more superior in beauty and status 
compared to the Huro Ain. We are losing focus to understand that the main goal is to get to paradise first. We cannot desire and decide in this dunya. First, we need to get to Jannah. In discussing what you will have, we lose focus on getting there. When you get there, Allah will never let you down. For Allah never fails in His promise. Inna Allah la yukhlifun mi'ad. Allah does not fail in His promise. We know from a hadith that the last person who will enter paradise will be given not just the equivalent of the entire world and what it contains, but ten times. This is only a description to bring it close to the mind. Nothing we get in this world qualifies to come near to what we will get in Jannah. So again, let's not lose focus by discussing what men will get and what women will get. Our goal is to enter paradise. Why bother talking about things that we are not even sure if we can get there? If we get to enter Jannah, all of these discussions will not matter anyway because everyone will get what their hearts desire. Wallahu a'lam and Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum. If you're new here, my name is Omar Abdullah, content creator and a student of knowledge. My goal is to share authentic Islamic knowledge in a bite-sized, digestible chunks. If you're loving this content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here.